Hello, today we're going to talk about merging cells as well as some alignment issues in Excel. So I'm looking at this title here in A1. It doesn't look much like a title. One way I could fix that is with just a better font choice, but one of the important things I probably need to do is merge these cells. Notice the data is all in cell A1. Well, one of the things I might want to do is take A1 and have it extend all the way across these four columns. So I select that range. There's a couple ways to merge cells. I'm going to use the ribbon. So I'm going to head to the alignment group, pull this down, and I'm going to merge those cells. That by itself didn't do much. Probably hard to see, but that's just one big cell now. And you can kind of see it. Um, one of the things that allowed me to do is now if I want to center that text horizontally, it now looks decent. And now if I apply something like a title style, now, now it looks more like a title. Uh, another way to deal with a similar problem is let's say I've got this right here, elementary school enrollment. Notice that that actually overflows cell A2. I could merge them and that would be one way to fix it, but let's talk about another option here. So sometimes if you've got too much data for a cell, you might want to resize that uh, row. So I'm going to click on the row heading and just pull it down some kind of arbitrary amount. Notice that didn't help me much, but so you can go the merge and center route, which is fine. Right above that is wrap text. And you see what wrap text allows you to do. So when you hit the end of the cell, it's going to wrap to a new line. So I don't really think that looks better, but if you've got a whole bunch of text, oftentimes that's the uh, better way to handle it. So let's talk about the last thing that I'd like to talk about here, and that is text orientation. It's this button right here. Let me show you a decent way to apply it though. So let's say that I want to add a row to this worksheet. There's a lot of ways to do that. I kind of like going to the home tab over to the cells group under insert, and I'm going to insert a column. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. Well, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it here and it's going to look ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So what I really want to do is I want to select all of these cells, so a range of about 18 cells or so, and I'm going to merge those. And that doesn't help. That's I didn't think it could get worse, but it, it is worse. And so interestingly, when you start merging cells, um, you start ending up with some alignment issues. So notice it defaults to this bottom vertical alignment, which is strange. You can see it up here in the alignment group. This might be what you expected. That's probably what you wanted. But I want to use this orientation button here to do something more effective. So notably, you've got these diagonal options, and there's probably a time and a place for those. I don't know what it is. But uh, rotating your text up or down is oftentimes a pretty good way to go. And that looks a little little wonky, but if you grow the font size, it starts to look kind of decent. Perhaps rotating the text down is not a good idea. We can rotate it up. Maybe that's maybe that's better. Maybe we could shore up this column width a little bit, and it starts to look a little bit better, possibly. Center it, center it, and that looks a little bit better. So we talked about merging and centering. We talked about wrapping text, and we talked about the orientation button. Those are your three best tools for changing the alignment of text in a worksheet. Thanks for watching.